What is up guys, it is Nathan here and today I'm back with another Injustice Gods Among Us video. Now in this video we're going to be reviewing quite an old character but I haven't played the game for a while so it's relatively new to me. Now this guy's name is New 52 Superman, obviously he's Superman from the New 52 run that DC did quite a while ago and today I'm going to be reviewing him because I only recently got him and I'm just going to feel around the character, see how I think about him, his moves, his passive, his abilities. It's going to be super cool guys so let's get right into the review. So this is New 52 Superman. This is his suit. I like it a lot. I like the modern take on the classic Superman suit. It looks really cool. But this guy's base stats are 1,300 damage and 1,500 health. His damage obviously is not as big as his health. But his damage because of his passive will build up to a lot. And his health is absolutely insane. This guy is an absolute tank. He's a really good character. This guy's passive is called Rage of Krypton. It's a super cool passive and it improves his uh, damage by a lot. So basically Superman receives plus 100% which is basically doubling it. Basic damage buff for accumulating power. I believe it is every single time he gets a bar of power he gets plus 100% basic damage. And this can be used three times and it can't be rinsed. It's super powerful. Gives him a lot of damage and it's super effective in battle. Superman also takes 15% less damage with every Justice League teammate. Batman, The Flash, Green Lantern, Aquaman, Martian Manhunter, Cyborg and Wonder Woman. This makes him super powerful when you put him with a team of Justice League members and just increases his strength. And uh, with the earlier part of the passive, the damage buff, it, he is super powerful. So here is what that looks like in battle. You can clearly see him getting a uh, basic attack buff whenever he gains one bar of power. You can also see I've got him with a team of Justice League members. Each one of those Justice League members uh, reduces the amount of damage that Superman takes by 15%. So two Justice League members is the amount of damage taken reduced by 30%. Now onto his special moves. His first special move, we've all seen it before, it's Superman's Flying Punch. Superman throws out one of his most classic moves to utterly crush his opponent. Now this Flying Punch is obviously, because this guy is such a good Superman, it's the more powerful Flying Punch where the Superman has two extra punches at the end in contrast to the normal Flying Punch which is just one big punch. Second move is a move we've never seen before, it's new and it was introduced with the new 52 Superman and it's called Defender of Earth. Superman utilizes the powers of heat, cold and his incredible strength to obliterate the enemy from above. This move is super cool, it uses Superman's uh, heat ray vision, his freeze breath and lastly a big smash onto the ground. I think it looks really cool and it is definitely a really good second move. Third move, we've all seen it before, there is no explanation necessary, it is the Injustice Superman super move, it's called Kryptonian Smash, bang, zoom, Superman's unrivaled might is revealed as he devastates his opponent, and like all super moves, it is unblockable. We've all seen this super move before, it's super awesome, Superman throws his opponent into the sky and then smashes them back down onto the ground, it's really powerful, super awesome. And this guy's support enhancements are lowest lane for 10% health, uh, his 10% damage one is called Son of Krypton, and finally Fortress of Solitude for 10% energy regeneration. So yeah guys, that was New 52 Superman. Now I'm going to talk a bit about how I believe he should be played. Obviously he's passive, you should uh, put him in a team with Justice League members. Fun fact, if you put him with Reverse Flash, the passive still works. Even though Reverse Flash is technically not a Justice League member, he's still based on the Flash, so he still kind of counts as a Justice League member, which is super weird. Also, you should try and get as much power as possible because he has that amazing damage buff with his power where he gets 100% every buff. Super cool. So try and get as much power as possible and you should have a really powerful new 52 Superman. Now I'm going to give you my opinion on the character. Now this guy is super powerful. I've been playing with him for a bit even though he is a bit old. But I can comfortably say that this guy is one of my favourite Supermans in Injustice Gods Among Us. I think he's super cool and he's definitely worth however much effort you're going to put into getting him. So yeah guys that was the video. Hope you enjoyed. If you want a bit more information on New 52 Superman I'll put a link in the description to his wiki article on the Injustice Gods Among Us wiki. If you want to read more about his trivia, his abilities, his uh, gameplay, 
go down there and be sure to read about that link is in the description if you enjoyed the video guys be sure to like and comment and if you're new here be sure to subscribe i would really appreciate it and have a nice day everyone